A group of Korean Air Force pilots have been taking part in a survival training session aimed at giving them the wherewithal to stay alive in enemy territory. Our Connie Kim was along for the ride and she filed this report. A pilot in his parachute fights strong winds and waves in an attempt to make a safe landing in the waters below. This simulation training devised by the Korean Air Force aims at helping pilots learn to survive in the enemy's territory after ejecting from their jets. The pilot's survival battle has started. The Air Force is practicing ways to safely drag in waters as they separate from their parachutes. This part of the drill requires pilots to maintain their balance despite a strong current to keep themselves from being dragged underwater by the chute. Next, pilots must move quickly to deploy an inflatable raft. Upon seeing their own troops, they signal their position and launch a flare gun to relay their location to the unit. However, pilots are at risk of drifting in the waters if they're not spotted by their rescue team on time. And this is where the survivor kit, equipped with a compass, multi-purpose pocket knives and a flashlight comes in handy. It takes a lot of time and money to train a single pilot. The Air Force carries out intensive survival training for pilots on a regular basis to prepare them for a variety of emergency situations. Preparing for cases when the pilot's boats reach land, they continue their survival training on land. As part of the drill, the pilots learn how to make fire, find food, and use their boats to make hideouts. It's all part of a five-day survival training session that took place this week in Namak County in waters off of Korea's southern coast. As a pilot, I've gone through numerous training sessions. In my mind, this was all possible with citizen support, both moral and financial. Through this survival training, I have the sense that I'm not only protecting myself, but also the Korean people. The Air Force carries out more than 10 survival training sessions every year, and pilots must receive this training every five years. Connie Kim, Arirang News, Namhae.